Okay, round eight. Here we are with round eight. This is what round eight is going to look like when you've done it. It's just a really simple um, orange outline for your purse. It doesn't get any bigger than this, the purse. If you look at the completed purse, you can see we're now working on the um, outer part of it. There's only, after this, there's just a little bit of surface crochet to do on these pieces and then they're complete. And then we're kind of working on the construction. So the underneath of the purse and adding the frame. So, yeah, very straightforward round. Um, there's just being careful where you place the stitches um, just at this point to make sure that the kind of apex of the flower or the curve of the flower falls in the right place. So our anchor point on this one, um, for the most part, we just do single, um, we just do double crochets, one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. But we do have, every so often, we do have the two into one happening here and that is our anchor point because we want to make sure that that always falls between those re those two longest stitches I think they were double trebles weren't they so that it needs to fall at the top there so there's your anchor point you've you've got um you've got kind of three four stitches one side three the other and I'm going to just show you where they fall it's not complicated it just tripped me up a couple of times because I was putting a stitch in the wrong place and this little fella was falling in the wrong place. So we'll do this together. Right, okay, we're going to join, as we have done in the last sort of few rows, we're gonna join just to the left uh, of the top of the purse. So that's the, the, the after the top of the purse falls to the left. And specifically, we're going to join into the chain space immediately to the right of this first long double crochet. Just a reminder, we are working UK terms and all the way around this, we're working into chain spaces, not into stitches, we're working into chain spaces. So that's just a reminder as well. So our first stitch goes into that chain space and just as we have done, we're just gonna pull up a loop and then secure with another um, chain going through it there. Because we're working double crochet one chain, UK terms, um, this one loop will count as our first double crochet. Okay, before I go on, this next the placement of this next stitch is what throws everything out if you if you put it in the wrong place. Um, this is what I discovered, and this is how come we, we we focus on this anchor point up here. You do not try and get your hook between these two stitches here. You try and you put your hook in the next chain space, which is is actually beyond this one. So you need to treat this long double crochet and the one next to it, kind of treat that as one and hop over the two of those and put your hook in the chain space between the small double crochet, the first small double crochet and the one next to it, okay? So that's that. Well, actually, that's a way of remembering it, isn't it? I'll remember that when I get to the next one, okay? So one double crochet, one chain, four times. That's two, that's three, and that is four. At this point, we're gonna do one double crochet, one chain, one double crochet into the one stitch. Um, sorry, my yarn got caught up there. And that is our anchor point stitch right at the top um, between those two longest stitches, okay? So I'll show you one double, one chain, one double, right at the top there and that is where that little um stitch needs to fall every time so on all the petals around it needs to fall in the same place that's how you're going to know you're getting your stitches in the right place okay sorry we finished with one chain there and now we're going to do three what so one double crochet one chain three times down the other side one two and three That is one repeat, okay? That's our first repeat. And we're just gonna do that five times just to, to um, cover all the petals before we get to the straight part at the top and we do something a tiny bit different there. So let's just go through that again. So it brings us back to where we um, joined, if you like, which is to the immediate right of that long double crochet. So we put our first double crochet in there. Don't forget working in the chain spaces double crochet, one chain, and our next double crochet falls between the in the space between the two 
um, normal size double crochet so it falls between those two that's a good way of remembering it. it's only just occurred to me I do apologize so our first uh, sorry our next double crochet goes between those two little ones much easier to explain it that way and I do apologize for not getting there sooner so that's two we've got to do four of these that's three that's four and we're now doing double crochet chain one double crochet in the one space and oh look it's brought us to our beautiful anchor point so let's do that one double crochet one chain one double crochet all in one space okay and then one chain and now we finish our repeat by doing one double crochet one chain three times that's one and two and three and that's that so I'm going to go around and finish um, the five repeats but before I do that I'm just going to, to uh, remind you of your anchor points again your first stitch of your repeat is going to go to the immediate right of the long double crochet that's anchor point one your next stitch of the repeat is going to fall between the two normal size double crochets that's anchor point two and the double crochet one chain double crochet is gonna fall right between those two tall stitches that's anchor point three if you go with that everything's gonna line up beautifully and all will be well I'll see you at the straight part Okay, I have now finished the fifth repeat of our um, pattern there and I want you to be super careful because yet again there is one little double crochet um, hiding at the end outside the brackets. Once you've done your five repeats you've got to do one double crochet and that falls um, as if you'd be starting another repeat so it falls just to the right of that long double crochet there. So just keep your eye out for those little extra double crochets at the end of the pattern because they do pop up a few times um right so the the top side is really quite straightforward in that we're just going to do one double crochet um, one oh, sorry we're going to we're starting the other way around because we've finished on double crochet we're going to do one chain one double crochet 16 times so let's do that let's don't forget to put your first double between the two normal size doubles, okay? That's one. And 16, oh and look at that, it's fallen right in the right place. I always feel tremendously relieved when that happens. So that's that. All we're going to do now is just finish with that lovely um, slip stitch cast off. Of course you can, if you want, use any cast off method. You can use our needle join method, whatever you want to do, but that is a really lovely, um, this little slip stitch method is really good. Now this one, oh I, I messed up here, look I'm going to show you. I didn't leave a long tail, I sewed it in for once, um, but if you look in the... Um, pattern it does say leave a very long thread because you're going to use this to attach your purse frame so leave a good long thread there and um that's what you're going to sew sew the purse frame together with so i've got a little bit of pulling through to do here so i won't bore you with that but we are now we've got one tiny bit to go and then we're going to be ready to construct <laughs> <laughs> 